the name of Emmanuel, welcome to our second midweek meditative service, WAIT, put together by Ardal Lutheran Church and Trinity Lutheran Church. If you have an Advent wreath at home, please join us in lighting two candles while we sing Light One Candle to Watch for Messiah. We are glad to have you join us as together we journey towards the night hope was born. Begin with the opening. The voice of one crying out in the wilderness says, prepare the way for the Lord, make the paths straight. We now will sing, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel, verses 1 through 4 and the refrain. A reading from Psalm 37, Selected Verses. Put your trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and find safe pasture. Take delight in the Lord, you who shall give to you your heart's desire. Commit your way to the Lord. Put your trust in the Lord and see what God will do. The Lord will make your vindication as clear as the light and the justice of your case like the noonday sun. 
Be still before the Lord and wait patiently. Do not be provoked by the one who prospers, the one who succeeds in evil schemes. Refrain from anger. Leave rage alone. Do not be provoked. It only leads to evil. Better is the little that the righteous have than the great riches of the wicked. For the power of the wicked shall be broken, but the Lord upholds the righteous. The Lord knows the lives of the godly, and their inheritance shall last forever. They shall not wither in times of disaster, and in days of famine they shall be fully satisfied. For the Lord loves justice, and will never forsake those who are faithful. They shall be kept safe forever, but the offspring of the wicked shall be destroyed. The righteous shall inherit the land and dwell in it forever. Our poem for this week again comes from Night Visions, Searching the Shadows of Advent and Christmas by Jan L. Richardson. The Advent journey begins in darkness, yet we often are fed the untruth that darkness is synonymous with evil, and all that is light and bright is good. At best, this belief hinders us from seeing the gifts present in the darkness. At worst, it encourages prejudices, however subconscious, against persons with skin darker than our own. We require darkness for birth and growth, the seed in the ground, the seed in the womb, the seed in our souls. In the dark lie possibilities for intimacy, for rest, for healing. Although we may find journeying in the dark fearsome or confusing, it teaches us to rely on senses other than sight. In the process, we learn that darkness bears the capacity for good even as evil can take place in broad daylight. We often find ourselves at times in the dark, good or evil or in between, of our own or another's making. Our work is to name the darkness for what it is and to find what it asks of us, whether it is darkness that asks for justice to bring the dawn of hope to a night of terror, or for a candle to give warmth to the shadows, or for companions to hold us in our uncertainty and unknowing, or for a blanket to enfold us as we wait for the darkness to teach us what we need to know. In these Advent days of darkness and waiting, it may indeed seem that God's face is hidden from our sight, but the sacred presence is there, breathing in the shadows. This is when we learn to trust senses other than sight and to see the face of God beneath our fingertips. Still me until I hear your heartbeat. Quiet me until I feel your breathing. Make me one with your rhythms. Move me to the cadence of your love. guardian of the seasons, keeper of every time. Tune us, so to your rhythms, that we may know the occasion for stillness and the moment for action. May we be so prepared, so aware, so awakened in our waiting, that when you prompt us into motion, our hands may be your hands and our purposes your own. At this time, we will have lighting of the Advent wreath while singing hymn number 240, Light One Candle to Watch for Messiah, verse 2.
Stir up our hearts, O Lord, to prepare the way for the coming of your Son. Give us courage and faith to proclaim in word and deed the good news of your coming, even as we actively wait for that day when Christ will come again. Amen. For our reflection, question, and moment of silence this week, we ask ourselves, what in my life requires patience? What am I waiting for? We now sing hymn number 264, Prepare the Royal Highway.
who offer here their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the health of creation, for abundant harvest that all may share, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For public servants, the government, and those who protect us, for those who work to bring peace, justice, healing, and protection in this and every place, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For those who travel, for those who are sick and suffering, and for those who are in captivity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For deliverance in the time of affliction, wrath, danger, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For all servants of the church, for this assembly, and for all people who wait from the Lord, great and abundant mercy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. Lord have mercy. Giving thanks for all who have gone before us and are at rest, rejoicing in the communion of all the saints, we commend ourselves, one another, and our whole life to you, through Christ our Lord. To you, O Lord. O God, you have called your servants to ventures which we cannot see the ending, by paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I now invite us to pray together the prayer our Lord taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Even as we wait, watch, wonder, and worship, God is with us. Thanks be to God. Amen. 